In this tutorial video we're going to show you how to set up your email with Google Apps Standard and that is so you can have an email address such as Nathan at BlueJWebsiteDesign.com instead of Nathan at gmail.com. Um, it, it allows you to use your domain name um, so that you can have a much more professional email. Now you, you don't have to do it through Google but that is, this is certainly my recommendation. Google's got a, an amazing email platform and another reason I recommend it is I think it's a good idea to not have your email associated with your hosting account. Now that's that's what's common, that's what's most popular is to have your email associated with your hosting account but if you ever want to change hosting accounts it's a big pain to move your email over and that's actually a gimmick that most hosting companies use is they want you to, to have as many chains tied to their hosting account as possible so that when you go to leave it's too much of a hassle and you'll just keep with them and keep paying them. Um, so that's my preference and so here's how you do it and just to, to give you an example here is is my email account okay this it looks just like Gmail and I'll zoom in in a minute just to show you a couple things but you'll notice I've got my logo over here in fact let me just zoom in right now you'll see right up at the top my email address is Nathan at bluejwebsitedesign.com instead of Gmail I get to you know use my domain name there um, so how you how you set this up just go over to Google and I'll even zoom in here just so you can see it a little bit bigger type in Google Apps Standard and do a search now there's there's a paid listing here you want to click the first natural listing that goes to Google Apps Standard um, because the paid one I think will take you to their premium version if I come over here you'll see that there's a or premier edition is what they call it. There's, there's a couple different versions. There's a free one and a premier. Um, you get 50 accounts with the free edition. It's, uh, it's great. So you'll click on get started and then you'll type, you'll, you'll check that button there that says that you own and control the domain and you'll type in your domain there. So let's, let's just make up a domain. Let's see, I've shown this to people before. Let's do pizzacompany.com and click on get started and then it will have you enter all the information your name everything else you know about about your company that you'll have set up with your email and then next it will bring it to this screen here um, where it will it will say that you need to verify that you own your domain and you'll get to choose a verification method you'll want to do the one that says C name um, that is the that's the best way of doing it and that's the one that I can help you with so what you'll need to do is click on that, um, change your CNAME record, and then click ver. Or, um, oh, I can't remember what it what it does. Anyway, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. But you'll click on change your CNAME record, and then that will take you to a screen that will show a weird weird string like this. Now it's not going to be Google F G H one two three four five. It'll be it'll probably be Google and then a whole you know coded um, string of, of letters and numbers and that's what I need you to email me and I can help you with the rest but you'll, you'll need to get in here and set up your account you know put in your own information set it up the way that you want you'll create the email accounts as well as go in and, and choose a verification method you'll get that that C name string um, and you'll email that to me and then I can go into to your hosting account and set that up so that you can receive your emails that are. If, if you read into this further you'll see that you need to set up MX records as well we'll take care of that for you that'll you don't need to set us anything unique for that we just need to point the MX records at Google. One last thing that I recommend when you're logged into your, your Google Apps standard click on service settings then click on email and that brings you to this screen um, it will by default it will be set to discard the email um, but I like to have a catch-all address so if somebody sends it to Bob at bluejaywebsitedesign.com it actually gets sent to me that's just in case I get misspellings or things like that and I can I can use arbitrary email addresses such as spam at bluejaywebsitedesign.com um, when I register for things I'll get those emails and then if I ever want to block it I can so it, it's, uh, it's kind of handy. It's a good feature. So hopefully um, that is uh, giving you all the, the tools you need to find the CNAME uh, string and email it over to me so we can set up your email with Google Apps Standard.